Josh here from netmark.com. I'm here today to show you how to calculate operating margin in less than two minutes. Okay, in order to do that, you're gonna to need to know your revenue, you're gonna to need to know your cost of goods sold, you're gonna to need to know your variable cost per item sold, and then you can calculate your operating margin. So let's begin with this example. I own Josh Industries. Uh, we sell widgets at Josh Industries. I'm just using average values in this particular example. You can use average values or you can use specific values. Okay, so I went with an average value for a widget of, or excuse me, an average revenue of a widget of $100 an average cost of goods sold of $45. If you take the $45 from your $100, that leaves you with a gross profit of $55. Now 55 divided into 100 is 0.55 or 55%, so your gross profit margin is 55%. Gross profit's $55. Your average variable cost, in this example, I used $10. I was assuming that I had a guy downstairs that shipped out these widgets and did all the logistics for me, and that for every widget I sold, it took him an hour and that I pay him $10 an hour. Okay, so I take the average variable cost, and again, a variable cost is any cost that you incur when you sell an item that isn't cost of goods sold. So the cost of labor to process it, uh, is a really good variable cost, but rent wouldn't be a good variable cost because you're going to have that rent whether you sell this widget or you don't sell this widget. Okay, so you take the $10 from the $55, that leaves you with $45. $45 is your average operating margin. Mm -hmm. 